Mukbang is a social media trend that has caught fire. Eating a large amount of food on camera, all while taking viewers through the meal step by step. It's become a lucrative way for content creators to rack up followers, ads, and brand deals, but it all comes at a price. Overeating can lead to binging, mental exhaustion, and could set a bad example for those watching. Our Elizabeth Schulze talks to two of Mukbang's biggest stars and starts off our new series, The Other Side of Social Media. If you type in Trisha Paytas chicken nugget, like there's so many videos that pop up. I love chicken nuggets and I feel like that's what people like know me as. Does it feel <laughs> weird to you ever to have your name be tied to chicken nuggets? No, I love it. Today I am going to be doing the 10 minute 100 chicken nugget challenge. This little crispy part? Yeah. Trisha Paytas never expected that eating fast food would be her way to fame. It's just so good. So 2012 was my first eating video, and it went pretty viral for back then. I got like a million views in a day, and it was just me eating scrambled eggs, toast, and ruffled potato chips. Scrambled eggs, toast, and ruffled chips. Yeah, that was back in my days when I like couldn't really afford anything. Ugly chip. I'm sorry, chip. I ruined that chip self-esteem. So you make this video, yes. you put it on YouTube, mm -hmm. and you're watching these views creep up, mm -hmm. what's your reaction? I mean, I was so relieved. I was watching the views go up. I was making money. I just made some scrambled eggs. What kind of money did that look like, those views for you? Well, I think my scrambled eggs video made like $8,000. $8,000. Overnight, because that video. Literally overnight. And I think my most I've ever made was, I did a Pizza Hut one where I ate like five different pizzas. Like another pizza? And I think that made like oh, maybe 50,000. These are my cup collections. Now from her home in Los Angeles with a loyal audience of more than 5 million subscribers. This is literally so good. Trisha has the made a living has cashing in on the trend called Mukbang. 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 Mukbang, a term that originated in South Korea and translates to eating shows. I am doing nothing but Dungeness Crab. Content creators post videos, sometimes more than an hour long, of themselves eating mostly junk food. It's time to be. And taking on challenges where they eat exorbitant amounts. I am hungry. I'm ready to eat. I started doing mukbangs and seafood balls. And as as I the time went on, I was doing different things like, you know, different adding different foods and different things like that. So it went viral. It really doesn't matter what onion you put in there. Atlanta-based Bethany Gaskin grew her following to more than three million on YouTube, going viral eating piles of seafood. Yep, and that's it. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of prepping. You have to have the food set up in the right the right way and the lighting, the um, sound, it's a lot. Well, that's a good one. She admits at first she thought it was weird that viewers would want to butter. watch and listen to her eat. Mm. I think that it's a thing called ASMR. They say they get the tingles, it makes them, you know, feel a certain feeling in their back of their neck or something like that. It's, it's weird. Nutritionist Maya Feller says viewers should be cautious when consuming this kind of content. We need a lot more sensitivity in online spaces that really allow people to not look at themselves in relationship to a content creator. That is an area for people who have a history of eating disorders or who have active eating disorders that it can be really triggering and confusing. I wouldn't call it binge eating. You cannot go on camera with a little plate and expect people to watch. I never ever finish the food. I'll just pack it up because the bigger it looks, the more views you're gonna get. What would you say to, to critics who look at these videos and say you're encouraging people to binge eat? I would challenge you to do it. You're making this problem worse. I mean, I wouldn't disagree completely. How many people get this much food to eat at once, right? You see these people binge and it can trigger all types of emotions and bad eating habits. Trisha Paytas has opened up online about her own binge eating disorder. I don't know how to stop the binge. It was definitely hard for me as like making all this money and the more food I ate, the better, but then I was becoming like unhealthy. And so I found it, I had to find a balance of it, which is now just eating a normal sized meal, you know, instead of eating, you know, 20 meals, I'd order like so much. Was there ever a moment where you were putting these videos out, it was fun, it was part of your day-to-day, -day, and then it just all of a sudden felt like, 
a burden. When I first got over 200 pounds, I was like, oh man, this is a problem. There was a point that I was like hospitalized um, and I didn't know what it was. I thought it was exhaustion or something like that. And it just, I literally, it was like just eating too much. Like my, everything was just tight, my heart, everything. You guys know how I talk about like, YouTube views being down in general. Like the unrelenting allure of more views and more dollars weighs not just on mukbang influencers' physical health, but mental health too. I do think there's a significant amount of pressure for these creators who, you know, are sitting there eating day after day and have millions of views and followers to actually replicate that behavior. 8, 10 plus 60 is 870 calories. I did the 10,000 calorie challenge wrong, so then like redo it, then I did it right, then like, okay, do the 20,000 calorie challenge, do the 100 nugget challenge. Oh, my stomach. And you just feel so much pressure because you just want to keep one-upping yourself. So I just add the juice. For some creators, the videos were a launching pad to a new business. So I start um, experimenting, making my own sauce. It's going to simmer for about 20 minutes. So I came up with the perfect sauce. And when I did, I did a recipe on it and gave people the recipe of how to make the sauce. And it became a hit, a sensation. Bethany's sauce company isn't her only source of revenue. She also earns cash from ads and brand deals. As for Trisha, she says ads on YouTube are still her main source of income. Trisha admits she's posted racially insensitive and controversial videos just for the sake of views, weighing in on politics. I am fully supportive of Mitt Romney. And yes, transgender I, rights. People might think it's tr I'm trying to be offensive. You have face kind of criticism for just saying whatever you want. Do you have any regrets? What do you say to those who say you, you need to rein it in a little bit? Of course I have regrets. I said stuff for shock value. I said, you know, but it's, it's happened. It's in the past, you know, I just, unfortunately it's out there forever and I'm just happy to have some sort of uh, platform to show that people can change, you know? I feel like I was a mess and I publicly showed that and I'm like happy to show that you can change. And sitting here today, I mean, you're admitting to me you said stuff for shock value. Yes. You're not hiding that. No. Yeah, no, I mean, and then some people think that's an excuse. Do you feel like the Trisha that we're talking to here in your house <laughs> is the same as what you put on all your different platforms? I think now I can safely say I'm the exact same online as I am in real life. Her unfiltered life, opening her up to unfiltered and unashamed comments online. The more you can not worry about what other people are saying or even know what other people are saying about you, the better. They think you're gluttonous. They think you have no self-control. They think you're like piggish. And it never helps when people are like, you're fat. How do you not let those comments get to you? I really don't even notice anymore. I'm so, how many times can you be called fat? You know, I was like, okay, I get that. Like what else? My matching Cinderella. Now a new mom to her her daughter Malibu Barbie, Trisha faces a new challenge, protecting her daughter's privacy. You look like a little princess. While promoting her own unabashedly public persona. This it looks so good. I've dialed it back a lot and I've learned to do that, especially with her, because she's just like sacred and I just want to like protect her. Do you ever just want to like turn it off, deactivate everything? I don't think I ever want to turn it off. I actually like love it so much. If there's 10,000 people watching or a million people, I think it's exciting. And I'm like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.